What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be showing to make the interior for your refresh gas station. I'm going to start with the little bathrooms here on the side. Uh, these aren't actually connected to the rest of the interior, they're kind of separate. Which is weird, and I'll probably forget about them because it's not really. But uh, yeah, just a little bit different, I think. I don't know. Do you really think I had a good reason for that? Why is this door still open? Why did I leave that open? Anyway, um... Completely unrelated, but yes. Anyway, with that being said, enjoy the tutorial and I will catch you on the. Okay, flip side. Ow. Alrighty, so the space in here for this is well, you don't actually need any space. All you need is your refresh gas station from whenever you decided to make it. I don't really know. Uh. You do need some materials though, and the ones you need are, to start, smooth, uh, that's not smooth stone, smooth stone, granite, brick blocks, spruce doors, dark oak doors, black stained glass, gray concrete, I want to say it's quartz slabs. That would be correct, yes. And the sea lanterns. Uh, I would also recommend giving yourself some night vision, whether that's via a potion or this fancy little command if you want to copy it. I think I added one too many zeros there for this. 1,000 is usually a good number. One, because it's easy to type, and two, because, I don't know, it just kind of works. Come inside your gas station, and the first thing you want to do is you want to break all of your grass into the floor and replace it with smooth stone. Now, if you're like me and you're lazy, uh, you can do this with a command. Uh, if I'll just basically tell you how to do it. So first of all, obviously you should have commands on. That would be smart. Come to the back left-hand corner, and this grass block, what is probably a grass block below, you want to break and basically fly down so you're in this block. <clears throat> Whatever this coordinate is here, you want to just copy. I can do Control alt c and I get it. I don't know if that works otherwise. And then you want to come all the way to the front right-hand corner, break down, and then do slash, fill, tilde, 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 which is your coordinates currently. Copy that other one, and then do smooth underscore stone. And there you go. And I would also, obviously, th these blocks don't matter here. These are going to get covered up anyway. <clears throat> but uh, I would recommend breaking under your doors for this as well. I'm going to get rid of that one for a second and do this. Yeah, it's just like that. Fairly easy when you do it with a command. It just makes everything go a little bit quicker. So, starting from the back left-hand corner again, ironically, now with your floor in place, what you want to do is if you're highlighting the smooth stone, you want to count right by five... And going forward, or you want to place going forward, 8 granite. You'll then connect left, and also take kind of the middle here and just connect it left as well. So you're basically, I guess this row of 3 granite between the two birch doors, you're just splitting it in half. So you'll have two little 5 by 3 rooms. Highlight the front right hand corner of this whole thing. And you want to count back by 2, so you're actually going to be in line with the first birch door. Going right from this, you'll place 10 granite. Make sure I just counted that right. Then go back with 2. Right 7. Back 1. Back with a spruce door, and then back with a granite. Where you kind of brought the wall back to here, you want to also just go back with one granite, one spruce door, and one granite. doesn't really matter what side of the thing the spruce door is on, but I'll put it there. From the furthest right back granite, that is this one here, you want to leave a two block out moving right in on this third smooth stone. You're going to place a spruce door up against the wall. Well, it should be on the left half of that block, just like that. From this, you will go forward with two granite, right with a dark oak door, black stained glass, dark oak door, black stained glass, dark oak door, black stained glass, gray concrete, then forward with black stained glass, dark oak door, 
black stained glass, dark oak door, black stained glass, dark oak door, granite, and then you'll just connect it right. So there's a minor exception to this next step. The next step is bringing all of your granite up with two brick blocks per granite. The exception is this row of what I believe should be 11 in total right here. It's the row just left, or just to the right of the bathrooms and left of this small room. Essentially, you're bringing the left and right rows up by two, but you're leaving the middle open like that. Everything else doesn't really matter. It's just too, too brick. Hopefully, everyone is having a good day or night. I am for the most part. It's kind of early in the morning. It's 1045. I guess that's early by standards. But yeah. That's a door. Oh yeah, also bring each of your spruce doors up with one brick per door. You don't want to fiddle with the dark oak doors just yet. I'll explain that step in approximately now. Also bring your gray concrete up with two gray concrete, actually. Alright, as far as those doors. And the whole black glass thing in general. Where is my image of it? There it is. Bring each black glass up with two black glass and each dark oak door up with one black glass. Just like that. We are kind of sort of missing the material for the next step. However, what I can tell you to do is grab it. Well, I want to check something first. That's good enough. Get rid of... I don't know. Actually, pick your poison except for these last two. I'll just say gray concrete and get out red concrete. And just trace all of the walls with red concrete. Including over that gap that I told you to leave earlier. This one right here, yeah, that's getting filled in with red concrete above, I should specify again. Just like that. Fairly easy. So, before we do anything else, I want to kind of get this whole doorway thing situated. So, what you really need for this is, well, get rid of your... Black stained glass in your dark oak doors and get out smooth quartz slabs and pillar quartz. On top of the top row of black glass here, you're just going to place a row of smooth quartz slabs. That's just so you don't have a gap into the ceiling. Bring each row of pillar quartz on either side back with two rows like this. And you want to take what you should have three rows of pillar quartz now. And you're going to take the middle row and just bring it out on each side with two granite, which will also include the brick and red concrete above it. Just makes it almost like step down a little bit better, so it's not just like jutting out by two blocks. Just like that. Fairly simple. Now, for ceilings, I'm going to start with this main room. And... You want to come to the front left-hand corner, and in line with the red concrete, your ceiling is upside down quartz slabs. It's, for the light pattern, it's two blocks off each wall. It's two blocks off the, from the front left at least, it's two, blo two blocks off the left and two blocks off the front. And then it's just a seed lantern in this corner, and it's every two blocks, you're going to place two upside down slabs, seed lantern, two upside down slabs, seed lantern, and I think you should know the drill at this point. And it should end up being centered. It will kind of get a little bit questionable when you hit the back, just because of the way that the back works. But uh, don't really think about that too much, because there's only so much I can do to make that line up. It'll line up at one spot, but like every other spot it won't. So, yeah. But uh, if you've built really any of my interiors recently, or I guess in general, I feel like a lot of them do use this pattern, uh, you'll, you'll know it very well. It's kind of been my go-to light pattern. For at least like a year now. <laughs> I feel like I originally used this on Qu no Quiznos. I had this one already, but I like modified it, and then I decided that I was it was easier to do it this way, so I never really changed it. <laughs> Quiznos was like a year and a half ago at this point. My God, that's just crazy to think about. And take some of those like older. Or some of the tutorials that, like, still use some of the designs I use and look back at them. And it's like, my god, that's old. <laughs> it's, like, really old. Anyway. I'll explain the rest of the ceilings in a moment here. It's a really awesome. Thanks, game. 
There you go. Now, let's start with this room with the open front wall. It's the middle row, and I believe it is two blocks off either side. Let me confirm that. It is one block off either side from this middle row. Why did I just do that? Yeah, just like that. That's really your lights. There's three lights in this room. And I believe the room to the right is a very similar case. Although I don't know if that one's one or two. It'd be cool if I had an image of it. Do I not? Oh, I do. Yeah, I, it is the exact same case, except I feel like there should only end up being two lights in that room. But there's still one... It's just one block off either wall, I guess, because it's also shorter. Yeah, I am correct. It's two lights, one block off each side. Fairly easy, I think. Bathrooms will leave for a, a later mo minute. We're going to do this uh, like weird back area here first. So this one is not normal. Off of the red concrete here, you're going to place a row of sea lanterns. Off of the, I should say the red concrete above the like glass doors and stuff. You're just going to place a row of sea lanterns that kind of goes around this bend. Just to the side of it, you're going to place a row of quartz blocks to fill in the rest of the ceiling. You can just use slabs if you want. Like that. It should be flat, though. I guess you could technically make it not flat, but... Eh, it's a lot of work. Bathrooms, uh... Unless you... You can wait later to do this, but I'm just gonna do it now. It's... Directly in the center. It's just one sea lantern. Two blocks off of the... Um, short walls and one block off the long walls. Just like that. Now, uh, let's head back into the main area. Actually, no, voice crack. Let's do the bathrooms while we're here. I lied. I, we might as well just get them done because they're gonna take like 15 seconds. And why wait to do that 15 seconds later when we're in here? Uh, clear your inventory. Get out smooth quartz blocks, smooth quartz stairs, birch trap doors, levers, cauldrons, composters. And oak trap doors. So from each bathroom, you want to just come inside. And this back or this three block wall across from the door is going to be the back wall for this. From the back center block, you're going to place a smooth quartz block off the wall. Bring it towards you with an upside down smooth quartz stair. On top of that stair, place a birch trap door. Up against the wall above the original smooth quartz block is another smooth quartz block with a lever off the left. Front left hand corner, you want a composter with an oak trap door on top. One back off the front right corner, you're going to place a cauldron with a lever above it powered on. And actually, in front of that, you want a white banner on the wall. I kind of forgot about that, and that's a new design. This is like a paper towel thing. It's not really a paper towel dispenser because, well, it's just a towel on the wall. But it does the job, I guess. If you don't want to add it, you don't have to. But maybe I'll play around with designs later. It's simple designs. Anyway, do the same thing in the other bathroom. So, again, a little bit quicker. Smooth course block in back center. Upside down stair in front of it. Birch trap door on top. Smooth course block behind. Lever off left. Front left. Composter oak trap door. Front right. White banner on the second block up. One block back. Cauldron. Lever above it. Powered on. There you go. Speed run. Anywho. Come back around to the main building itself. Oh, I left the door open. Hope nobody's uh, in here. And you can clear your inventory. And we're going to just kind of go in this main room, just left to right, and just do a, a, a clean sweep of everything that we need to. So, start out by getting out dark oak slabs, which we will also use for planks. Dark oak stairs. Acacia trap doors. Smooth quartz blocks. Smooth quartz stairs. Smooth quartz slabs. Spruce planks. Spruce stairs. And I think that'll clear out the front. Yeah, that'll actually almost finish the build entirely, which is kind of funny. So, uh, anyway, come to this far left wall here, and you want to go just along it going either front to back or back to front, it doesn't matter. You're going to place a dark oak plank. Smooth quartz block, 
dark oak plank, smooth quartz block, dark oak plank, smooth quartz block, dark oak plank. I look reminds me of Oreos. On top of each dark oak plank, you want to place a smooth quartz block. On top of each smooth quartz block, you want to place a dark oak slab. In between those dark oak slabs, you want acacia trap doors. And now, from each original dark oak plank, which I guess is the, the only one, you want to place a dark oak plank in, fr I guess, toward you from it like that. On top of each dark oak plank and between each one, you want dark oak stairs like this. On top of the dark oak stairs that are, um, how do I word that? The, like, lower dark oak stairs, you're going to place acacia trap doors and open them up so they kind of cover up that gap that you have. This could be for donuts or something. I don't know. Donuts is kind of what was in my head when I was making this. Although, I guess it could be, like, I don't know, chicken wings or something. I don't know if gas stations typically sell chicken wings, but, uh, you know, it could be chicken wings. I don't, I don't know. So, that next step over. Uh, you have this wall with, well, I guess no wall. You want to come to where there is a wall on the right here, this little, I guess, one thick row. And you want to break into the floor four smooth stone out and place spruce planks in their place. From, not the frontmost spruce plank, but one more back, you want to leave a two black at moving left. And on this third one, you will break five spruce, five smooth stone to the left and replace them with spruce planks. On top of all of these, you want upside down spruce stairs that essentially will create a little bit of a shelf. So on this row of five, you want an upside down spruce stair on the left one that faces right. On top of the right one that faces left, and the middle three will all face forward. And it'll give you this. This is like those little racks where they got like chip bags and stuff. Or I guess, maybe not chip bags in this situation, because I feel like those would just be on the normal shelves, but whatever. And this row of four that sticks out here, you want to kind of do the same thing. You f I guess back three, you want upside down stairs facing left, and on the front one, you want one that faces back. Fairly simple. Now, for the, I believe there's two, but there might be three. I'm not good at math. There's two shelves. Come to these two granite here. Where the wall, I guess, sticks out a little bit. Just to the side of the entrance here on the right side. If you're on the smooth stone just behind that granite, you want to count back by two and right by one and place a smooth course block. Bring it back by six. Correction, five. So just if you did six, break that end one. And then from that row, you want to leave a four block at moving right and place another row, except it'll extend one further block or one back, one block further back and one block further forward. Just like that. Bring each row of smooth quartz blocks up with another row of smooth quartz blocks and then a row of smooth quartz slabs. And then off the sides of the rows of smooth quartz blocks, you can place upside down smooth quartz stairs. Don't wrap it around the edges because then you're going to have one block wide uh, little, I guess little alleyways. And you don't really want that. Two blocks is still kind of small, but I feel like in gas stations it is sort of tight. So Finishing up with the smooth quartz stairs, one thing that I need to do and one thing that we forgot, or I forgot, I can't really blame you guys. This like little kind of indent where you have, I guess, two windows here. You want to just place upside down smooth quartz stairs going around this, making a C or a backwards C. Just like that. There's another one of these types of things uh, just left of the entrance. And this one happens to go out from this wall until it's the end of the first window, which is this pillar quartz here. So it's six blocks out. So, before we clear inventory, this whole, like, dark oak door extravaganza thing, you want to come just inside of this, and you want to place upside down smooth quartz slabs that wrap around the, kind of, the door row, I should say. The bottom half, and also the top half of the doors. So you have two little, little shelves, just like this. I can show you what this looks like from the outside as well, you can see it just kind of gives you two shelves. And there is space back there, so, I don't know, maybe... 
somebody took the last ice cream from over here, uh, you can run around and restock that. Yeah. Um, back rooms. That's really all we have to do, except not like the, um, like the, uh, what is the back rooms considered? I was going to say an SCP, but I don't think that's right. Anyway, clear inventory on very unrelated notes and get out stone slabs and stone brick stairs. And I'm pretty sure that's all we need, but I am going to confirm that there's nothing silly happening. Uh, there might be something silly happening. No, there's not. So, uh, I guess starting with the, the room that we're looking at here, if you find the center block of this opening, which is this one right here, you want to count left by two from it and right by two from it and place a stone brick stair facing back. It also is just two blocks off the sidewalls and three blocks away from each other. From the back right hand corner inside this room, you're going to place just three, I believe it's three. Where, where is it? Yes, it is three rows of upside down stone slabs that sell one block short of the door, which should end up being five blocks per row. And they're just on top of each other like that. Inside this room to the right here, you want three rows of upside down stone slabs all on top of each other, just on the front and back walls, which are, I guess, the longer walls, which is, I guess, also technically the side walls. Anyway, I didn't add any trash cans or anything, so if you want to, like, throw a couple around, like, maybe one in the back left here and maybe, like, I don't know, one in, like, next to the doorway, you can. But anyway, once you've done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is your refresh series gas station complete. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, let me know what you guys think of this in the comments down below. I believe the next refresh is KFC, so that'll be fun. Uh, have a fantastic rest of your day or night. Then I will see you on the next one. Peace.